Hello Kafam, isang araw isang pahina ng aming buhay. Due to the pandemic we are currently facing, kailangan nating baguhin ang mga nakasanayan na. No exceptions, even our educational system sa Pilipinas. Yes, education is necessary as well as the safety of the learners. Let us help our children not to stop learning and we believe that parents will always find a way. This video is the start of Claire Lelou's homeschool journey. I never thought it before because I always love the idea of learners going out and socializing with other learners as well. But I will stand that this is the best decision for now. Online learning program is indeed a game changer. Alam namin na ang aming setup ay hindi magiging pareho sa lahat ng bahay. Some will have nicer learning area and some may not even have one. It's not really about the price dahil ang edukasyon ay karapatan ng bawat isa. Let us share the chapter 1 of the new normal of education in the Philippines. As we say, there are three elements in the learning process. The teacher, the learner, and the environment. Maraming sangay ang environment, but this video will focus on the physical learning environment. Simulan na natin. First, start in securing a learning area. Maliit man o malaki, basta importante ito ay naiiba sa ibang bahagi ng bahay. I've learned that every space in our house has its own energy. Ang bed ay para sa pagtulog, ang hapagkainan ay para sa pagkain, at ang sala ay para tayo'y maaliw. Taken from an expert, avoid these places if you are learning something. Ibig sabihin, magkaroon ng ibang espasyo for the learning process alone. Kahit magtabi ka lang ng isang table sa sulok at ituring mo itong learning area, you will be great. We have to have that learning energy just like what we have in school. When we thought of a school, it is a place of learning. Number two, learning environment should be clean and safe. Emotional and physical safety is essential to secure dahil importante sa isang learner na kampante sila. Sino ba naman ang gaganahang mag-aral kapag madumi at makalat ang silid aralan? Start disinfecting and have a cleaning schedule to maintain the cleanliness within the learning area. Remember, a clean area improves comfort, thus increases learning ability. Number 3. Plan well the furniture arrangement. Furniture arrangement is best appreciated in a school classroom setup. There are several things to consider. Everything should be appropriate according to kind, size, and type of learners. But since we are focusing on homeschool, I guess this will be simple. 
less space means we have to maximize each side, ask yourself, where is the focal point? Less learners means focus on the needs of the learner. Ask yourself, what does my child needs at her age? And less furniture means we have to be resourceful. Ask yourself, what are the top priority? In online learning, you need a table, chair, a computer or smartphone, and of course, internet. Number 4. Choose an area with natural light and has fresh air flow as much as possible. Nothing beats natural light not only because you can save electricity, but as well it is good for the eyesight of everyone, especially for children. Studies show that children spending more time outdoors and natural light reduces the risk of developing poor eyesight. Alam naman natin na mas okay talaga ang fresh air, pero kapag ito ay hindi sapat dahil sa sobrang init ng panahon, turn on your air conditioner, electric fan, or gumamit ng pamaypay. A well-ventilated space relaxes the mind, thus increases concentration in doing tasks or studying. Number 5. Organize tools. Organizing learning tools from the simplest doesn't have any age requirement. Children to adults prefer an organized area because it prevents distractions and increases excitement to pick something up and get to know about it. In that way, we are also teaching the kids how to keep things on their proper places. At syempre, maganda lang talaga sa mata pag malinis at maayos ang mga gamit. Number 6. Design and display of visual materials. Who doesn't love wall displays when we were at school? Learners are naturally hunters of colors and creative works. But remember, too much wall posts can also distract them. Have the balance and unity of your displays. Think of what can best help them rather than what you want. It should be student-centered, not teacher or parent-centered. What is nice about wall displays is that it doesn't have to be perfect simply because it is called art. All you need is a little creativity. You doesn't have to buy a new one but you can always look back and use your old ones. And more interesting if you can create something new from old scraps. And lastly, number 7, Health Centered. I always believe that going to school is learning not only for academic reasons but as well as learning to value oneself. Protecting and taking care of our health is one of its criteria. Parents and guardians might not be too knowledgeable with the curriculum but I believe that you are far knowledgeable what your children want and what are their health needs. If you have an asthmatic child like Claire, I suggest that you will use whiteboard pen or just paper and pencil to prevent respiratory conflicts. Avoid having tools that might harm them. It's not a no, but please guide them how to use it. So much to share in a short video. But we hope that we reminded you what to keep in mind in starting your homeschool or online learning program. 
watch out for our official homeschool learning area tour on our next video. We are sharing our story so you will be inspired not to be afraid embracing changes. As the old quote says, the only constant in life is change by Heraclitus. Love, Nane and Claire.